Krishna. Hey Krishna everyone. So today we go through verse 29. So we start with verse 27 first. Shri Brahma Sampita Ki Jai. Ishvara Parama Krishna. Sachidananda Vigraha. Anadiradir Govinda. Sarvakarana Karanam. Ishvara Parama Krishna Satchitananda Vigraha Radhi Radhi Govinda Sarvakaran Karanam Ishvara Parama Krishna Satchitananda Vigraha Radhi Radhi Govinda Sarvakaran Karanam Ishwara Parama Krishna Sachit Ananda Vikraha Anadir Adi Kohimba Sarva Karanakaranam. Okay, so can you read the translation? Yes, Matiji. Krishna, who is known as Govinda, is the Supreme Godhead. He has an eternal, blissful spiritual body. He is the origin of all. He has no other origin and is the prime cause of all causes. Thank you. Verse 27. Atavenunina <laughs> Samskrita Shadi Puruna Dvijatam Agamattataha Atave Nunina Dasya Rai Murti Mahigati Spuranti Pravive Shashu Mukab Jani Swayambuva Gayatrim Gayatas Tasma Adi Gatya Saro Jaja Samskratas Jati Guruna Dvichatam Agamat Tata Atave Nunina Dasya Rai Murti Maigati Spuranti Pravive So Mukab Jani Swayam Bhuva Gayatrim Gayata Tasmad Adhi Gatya Saroja Jaha Samskritas Achadi Guruna Dejatam Agamat Tataha Atave no Nina Dasya Trayi Moti Mai Gati Puranti Pravi Vesatu Vishesha Shashu Mukhab Jani Swayambuva Gayatri Gayatastasmad Adi Gatya Sarojata Sarojaja Samskritas Chadi Guru Nadi Jatam Agat Agam Agamat Tata Atave Numni Nadasya Trai Murti Mai Gati Spuranti Pravi Vesasu Mukam Jani Swayam Bhuva Gayatrim Gayatas Tasmat Adhi Gatya Saro Jaja Sam Krista Shadi Guruna Vijatam Agamatata Saram Prabhu, would you like to read the translation? Zen Gaitri, Mother of the Vedas, being made manifest, example imparted by the divine sound of the flute of Sri Krishna and turned into the lotus mask of Brahma, born from himself through his eight 
ear holes. The lotus born Brahma, having received the Gayatri, sprung from the flute song of Sri Krishna, attained the status of the twice born, having been initiated by the supreme primal receptor, Godhead himself. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Did the purport know? No. no. Text 28. Traya prabuddho tavithi vigyata tattva sagaraha tushtava veda sarena stotrena nena keshavam. Traya prabuddho tavithi vigyata Vigyata tattva sagara tushtava vita sa sa rena stotrena nena keshava. Traya prabhudo i stav vidhir. Vignata tatva sagaraha Tustadva veda sarena Strona nena kesavam Pravya prabhu tota vijir Vignata tatva sagara Tustava veda sarena Stot Stotrena nina kishavam. So, yeah, Vidyata Tadva Sagara Tushtava Veda Sarena. Can you read the translation? Enlightened by the recollection of that Gayatri embodying the free Ved, Brahma became acquainted with the expanse of the ocean of truth. Then he worshipped Sri Krishna, the essence of all the Ved, with this hymn. Text twenty nine Chintamani Prakar Tadma Shukal Patriksha Laksha Brite Shusura Bira Bipalayantam Lakshmi Sahasra Shatasam Hamasevyamana Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Hajami Chinta Mani Prakara Tatma Shukalpa Praksha Lakshavate Shushura Bira Bipalayantam Lakshmi Sahasa Satas Shatasam Brahma Seva Manam Govinda Madi Purusham Chintamani Prakara Sadmasu Kalpa Vriksha Laksha Vrite Surabhi Abhi Palai Yantam Lakshmi Sahasta Satasam Brahma Sevyamanam Govinda Madi Purusham Tamaham Bajami Chinta mani prakara satma su kalpa vrit. Chinta mani prakara satma su kalpa viksha laksha vidishu sura bhir abhipala yantam lakshmi sahasra shatta sambrama sevya manam govindam adi purusham tamaham bhajam.
चिंतामणी प्रकृतिक्षा लक्षा विषु सुरभीर दीपालय लक्ष्मी सहस्रशत संभ्रम सेम गोविंदमादिपुरुषम समह भजा Okay, so would you like to read the translation? Yes, so my yes, not if you. I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord, the first progenitor who is tending the cows, yielding all desire in abodes built with spiritual gems, surrounded by millions of purpose trees, always served with great reverence and affection by hundreds of thousands of Lakshmi's or Gopis. Thank you. So the second verse in the hymn by Brahmaji, text thirty. Venum kwananta maravinda laya taksham barahavatam samasitam buddha sundaragam kandar pakoti kamadiya vishesha shobham. Govinda Madhi Purusham Tamaham Bhajami. So the words Venu, Venu, Kwa Nantam, Kwa Nantam, Aravinda, Aravinda, Dalaya Taksham, Dalaya Taksham. Venum kwanantam aravinda dalaya taksham barhavatam barhavatam samasitam. So these two bits, these two syllables, they are pronounced together. Samasitam, samasitam, Buddha. Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Sundarangam Barhavatam Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Kandarpa Kandarpa Koti Koti Kamaniya Kamaniya विशेष विशेष शोभम विशेष शोभम कंदर पकोटि कमनीय विशेष शोभम गोविंदम आदि पुरुषम तमहम सो दिस टू सिलेबल्स अगेन दे आर प्रोनाउंस टुगेदर तमहम भजामि वेनुम क्वनंतम अरविंद दलाय ताक्षम वेनुम क्वनंतम अरविंद दलाय ताक्षम बरहावतम समसीतम बुद्ध सुंदरांगम Barhavatam samasitam buddha sundarangam Kandar pakoti kamaniya vishesha shobham Kandar pakoti kamaniya vishesha shobham Govinda madi purusham Tamaham Bhajami. Yes. Venam Kwanantam Aravindam Dalaya Taksham Barhavatam Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Kandapakoti Kamaniya Vishesha Shubham Uvindamadi Purusham Tamaham Bajami. 
Benum quanantam aravinda dalaya taksham Bareha vatam sums asitam buddha sunda rangam Kandar pakotika mani avisesa sobam Ovinda madipurusam tamaham bajami Venum Kwanantam Aravinda Dalaya Ksham Bahara Vatam Sam Asitam Buddha Sudarangam Kandar Bakoti Kamaniya Vishesha Shubham Govinda Madi Purusham Aham Bajami Venum Kavantam Maravinda Zalaya Taksham Bahavata Chamam Sitam Buddha Sundarangam Kandar Pakoti Kamaniya Vishesha Shobham Govindam Adiputrusam Samaham Bhajami this is the tune that we normally hear yes it's a beautiful <laughs> tune yeah thank you so we go to the scenery venum the flute quanantam playing aravinda dala lotus petals ayata blooming aksham whose eyes barha a peacock's feather, avatamsam, whose ornament on the head, asita ambuddha, tinged with the hue of blue clouds, sundara, beautiful, angam, whose figure, kandarpa, of cupids, koti, millions, kamaniya, charming, vishesha, unique, shobham, Whose loveliness, Govindam, Govinda, Adi Purusham, the original person, Tam, Him, Aham, I, Bhajami, worship. Translation I worship Govinda, the primeval lord, who is adept in playing on his flute with blooming eyes like lotus petals, with head decked with peacock's feather. With a figure of beauty tinged with the hue of blue clouds and his unique loveliness charming millions of cupids. Purport The matchless beauty of Krishna, the supreme lord of Goloka, is being described. Krishna, the all pervading cognition, has a spiritual form of his own. The form of Krishna is not a fanciful creation of imagination formed after visualizing the beautiful timings of the world. What Brahma saw in his ecstatic trance of pure devotion is being described. Krishna is engaged in playing upon his flute. That flute by his enchanting musical sound attracts the hearts of all living beings. Just as a lotus petal produces a pleasant sight, so the two beautiful eyes of Krishna, who causes the manifestation of our spiritual vision, display the unlimited splendor and beauty of his moon-like face. The loveliness that adorns his head with peacock, peacock feather figures the corresponding feature of the spiritual beauty of Krishna. Just as a mass of blue clouds offers a specifically soothing, pleasant hue, the complexion of Krishna is analogously tinged with a spiritual dark blue color. The beauty and loveliness of Krishna is far more enchanting than that of Cupid multiplied a million fold. A very nice description of the Lord Krishna. 
you need to make religion. Yeah, this is uh, going to be one of the most uh, uh, amazing verses uh, because Krishna um, Brahma uh, talks about the flute, which is very dear to him. And that's so amazing in itself because uh, he's a Supreme Lord. <laughs> and we're talking about the Supreme Lord enjoying playing the flute. <laughs> You know, normally the Supreme Lord would be engaged in other things, but this is putting so much importance on the flute because he's so sweet. So um, whoever plays the flute, you know, if one becomes attracted to that person because the flute is such a, is such a beautiful sound. And we you know whenever Krishna played, the gopis would drop everything and run towards him. And then it's also got the... This, uh, the uh, wonderful description about the peacock feather, how his uh, head is always uh, decked with peacock feathers. And then we have this verse with the beauty, with the figure of beauty tinged with the hue of blue clouds. So this is fascinating because, you know, whenever we go to schools, um, they always look at Krishna's picture and say, hey, why, how come he's black or how come he's blue? What's going on here? <laughs> How come he's got a funny color? And we try to explain to them that this is Krishna's natural color, just like we all have different colors, color skins. So he's, he has a completely different color and it's just unimaginably beautiful. Um, and his unique loveliness charms millions of cupids. This is why we fall in love with God um, as opposed to be threatened by him or be scared by him he doesn't want us to be scared by him he wants us to love him and this this verse goes such a long way to showing the sweetness of krishna and how you know we can fall in love and amazing how this is the song that we sing every morning uh, when we're greeting the deities so it's really beautifully done beautiful Lord Brahma has given us such a benediction and Prabhupada and Yamuna Devi who sang this song. Um, so we're very, very fortunate. So anybody else like to share anything? Karuna, maybe? Thing very important to mention here that Krishna has a mm -hmm. spiritual form yes. and it's not a fanciful creation or, or imagination. Yeah, very important. Mm -hmm. For those who think that uh, God is formless or only light. This verse is very important. Yeah, good, good point. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good point. Very nice point. Yeah, it goes such a long that time. There are people that don't believe in the form of the Lord. Mm. Yeah. Mm. The problem is that they don't believe in the scriptures also. No. Yeah. There's a lot, lot of lack of faith. Uh, some of it understandable because, you know, the, some of the people who preach the scriptures don't necessarily follow it. So they lose fa faith. And, uh, but we are very lucky, you know, we got Popart, his books, and we can actually not. To, mislead people, you know, and try to follow the path as it is. Very important. Yeah, once I, I met someone uh, from another uh, sect type of, uh, they believe in uh, in God, but not uh, the form of the God. So when I mentioned uh, the Brahma Samhita to her, and mm. she told me, no, that's, that's not possible. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> but I, I see that the scripture is here. How is it that it's not possible? It has been mentioned yeah. there. 
Yeah, but then she didn't want to accept it. Yeah. <laughs> it is so a they question. do meditation, they do meditate upon the light. Mm -hmm. They don't accept the form. Yeah, yeah. It's such a shame because the form is so glorious. You know, you fall in, how can you fall in love with light? You know, <laughs> you fall in love with uh, something beautiful. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Sitara. You know, uh, the best thing is to just give them prasad, maha prasad from the temple. As yeah. soon as I know, I know some people who were just karmi, the one that they believe, they don't believe in Krishna. When I gave him this maha prasad, which Krishna has stated, uh, has taken, and the rest I offer him. He was so glorious. He was so happy. That, what is this in this Mahaprasad Prabhu? Yeah. Then he became a devotee. And some, once, no, I, I gave him several times. And he becomes a devotee. And today he is an initiated devotee. Mm. Yeah. Excellent. It is our duty to preach, tell them. So, whatever the weather is, chat the holy name, what him uh, wearing dhoti kurta, what is Mataji wearing uh, the saris and the tilak on the front. So, it will it will work, Prabhuji. It is like this. Mm. Are you For sure. It's a very good point. Thank you. Okay. okay. Anything else? Anybody else would like to ask any questions or make any comments? Amazing verse, and it's something that we should try to memorize. And I often actually chant it in schools because they, when they ask me about this blue color, I always chant this verse. <laughs> so, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're very lucky to have this actually. So fortunate. And thank you, Karuna, for taking us through this journey of Bhamrasamita. Really nice. Thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> Wonderful being together and reading all. Yeah. Really yes. Nice. Actually, you remember more when you read it with others, you know. So. Yeah. Thank you, thank you for that. Okay. Thank you. Um, Hare Krishna. Shri Brahma Samhita Ki. Thank you. Thank you.